Hello guys, welcome to our jQuery series. We learned about jQuery fading effects in our last segment. In that segment, we learned to give fade effects to elements or contents by making it gradually appear, disappear, appear, disappear or adding transparency to it. For example, by using the fade to method, we can bring the current element to the lightest color or add transparency or opacity to it. I hope you guys have practiced all the practicals which we completed in the last segment at least once. Now moving forward with today's effect technique. Today we are going to learn sliding effect. If we understand the sliding effect with an example, then currently I have my phone. So if I move my phone like this, that means I am sliding the phone on my hands. I am not lifting and placing it, but sliding it smoothly. So this is a real life example of what is a slide. You must have seen doors at many places which open inwards towards my side or outwards towards your side. This is one type of a door. The other type is sliding doors or windows that are being used today, which opens in a sliding manner and occupies less space. This is an example of what is sliding. So sliding basically moves in that plane only that is either in x direction or y direction. Another example of a sliding effect is our learn one website. If we click on the menu, then we can see the drop down menu which slides in downward direction and when we click again it slides in upward direction and closes. So this also becomes our sliding effect that is slide up and down, slide down, slide up. So this is our effect. So today we make exactly this example of how to achieve the sliding effect through jQuery. First of all, we are clear with what is sliding and there are three major things inside sliding. Slide down meaning downward which we saw in our menu. It slides downward. So in the downward direction, slide the menu and open it. Slide up meaning closing the slide in upward direction. Then next is slide toggle as we have seen in fade fade toggle and show toggle which does two tasks simultaneously open close on off we are going to learn all the three types of sliding effects in today's segment first of all it will be slide down as you all can see jquery slide down method is used to slide down an element which means it is used to open an element in a downward direction slide down is used in the same as all other methods are used but you can see in slide down speed is the mandatory parameter because we are opening something and not appearing or disappearing showing or hiding it if we want to show hide it we can pass it without a time parameter but here we want to slide up down that's why time is mandatory here you can see there is a selector after the factory function then the methods name slide down and then the speed what is speed speed basically defines our delay if possible values are fast slow or millisecond which means we can pass the keywords as slow fast or give time in milliseconds we can give any suitable value there. Another slide down method is callback, which we will be learning later on. These are two options in slide down. This is the example of slide down. If here on learn one site, the menu opens. If we make something like that, then that will make it more clear about how it works. So let's say I open the sublime text and here the HTML example slides down 
then here will come our url here we will type our code over here and save it we will be giving slide down name to the program basically what we have to do is let's say we need a header which will be a horizontal panel and when we click on this panel it will slide down a portion will open so let's say first of all i'll give h1 here slide slide down okay now we need a style here for proper visualization body text align center to bring all the text in center here i will be taking two divs one on clicking my portion will open so let's say one div will be named as panel one and the second div whose id will be panel 2 one is panel 1 and the other is panel 2 now i have to give them some css let's say hashtag panel 1 comma hashtag panel 2 let's say i take its width first margin 0 auto so that it comes in the center then we will give its width 400 pixels and whatever we will write in this will be center align and background color as light green we will be giving our portion a border as one pixel solid hashtag so this is our border now the panel which will be opening we will give padding 50 pixels and comment display none temporarily now if i run this program as you can see i am getting the result something like this here taking a panel one hashtag panel one padding colon 5 pixel i will add some content to panel 1 click to slide down panel 2 this is panel 2 and save it this is my portion where i will click and then the slide down portion will open now here both of these padding i'll take it here and will remove the width as of now as you can see now this completes our panel now i will uncomment the display none from here so now i will put an effect such that when i click on this panel the portion should open clear now what i will do is we want to open the portion on panel once click then we will write the script as a dollar document dot ready function okay here dollar what we have to do here is on click so dollar hashtag this is my panel 1 dot click function now what do we have to do we have to open it so the dollar hashtag panel 2 dot slide down that's it now we have to save this and reload now when i click on this you guys can see the portion panel is opening downwards i will reload this again and try one more time you can see it is opening downwards slowly i have still not given any effect here if i put the effect as 1000 seconds here the slide down effect takes as same as 1 second to open the complete panel so this is our slide down so i will reload and click you guys can see here 
I do not have an idea whether the effect is happening on clicking or not. So that's why I will be putting a hashtag panel one cursor pointer into panel one. This is from a UI perspective. This is an indication to the user that if we take the cursor to the panel, it changes into a pointer, which means the portion is clickable and by clicking there, something will open. Reload. Click. This is our example of slide down. This is our PPT. You guys can see this is the simple example of slide down. The next effect which we are going to learn is the slide up effect, which is exactly the same as slide down. By now, you guys have got the idea what is the difference between slide down and slide up. When something opens downwards, it has to close upwards by using the slide up effect. Slide up is exactly the same as slide down. Only the name of the method is different. So now if I copy this complete program and paste it here and change the title as slide up. Here is my slide up, but I don't want a display for slide up. So I'll remove this slide up. Save. Okay. So here click to slide up panel two and I'll click. Now you can see that our panel is sliding upward and closing. I will reload again and click to close it again. I click and this closes. So the difference in both the panels is that when I click here, it opens and when I click here, it closes. Slide down is for opening our portion in downward direction and slide up is for closing our portion in upward direction. So this is our slide up and down exactly the same as our here like that. But here in our learn one in menu button on one click, both slide up and slide down are happening on the same button. So here also there must be something which can make it happen on our panel too. So definitely this will be our slide toggle. Now what is the use of slide toggles? Slide toggle method is used to toggle between slide up and slide down method, which means I can slide up and down by using only one button. If the element is slide down, it will slide up the element. And if it is slide up, it will slide down, which means if it is in closed position, it will open. And if it is in open position, it will close the element. So this is our slide toggle. In slide toggle also, we have exactly the same syntax as slide down and slide up. After selector, slide toggle. And then we have to pass our speed where speed mentions our delay and callback mentions our function. We will copy the same program and write it as it is and just update the terms. So what will I do? The program which we have written here. Slide toggle slide toggle slide okay save this is our program here i have only kept slide words and removed up and down because both the effects will work only by one click as soon as i click here my panel comes down and again when I click there, it closes up. Open, close, open, close. The thing which we made just now, we also call it an accordion. If we make more than one panel like this and we click each panel and open and close it means one panel, then second panel, 
then third panel when we combine this we call this example as accordion we have a framework named bootstrap accordion so this is our accordion inside bootstrap you can see these examples if i click on this it will close this is open third item open first item open second item open and third item this is a practical example to see where we can know where slide down slide up and slide toggle are used bootstrap is also one of the courses in our learn one we are also going to learn this later if you want to learn bootstrap and want to know how it works you can start our bootstrap course but before learning bootstrap it is mandatory to learn jquery course first if you don't learn jquery first you won't be able to understand bootstrap thoroughly i request you to finish jquery first and then start with bootstrap course the three types which we learned today that is slide down slide up and slide toggle these are the practical examples of this which is our accordion which you can see on my screen so this was our slide with three effects of sliding in today's segment we covered sliding effects slide down slide up and slide toggle which combines both so guys today's segment was comparatively easier if you have any queries or comments click the discussion button below the video and post it there this way you will be able to connect with fellow learners and discuss the course also our team will try to solve your query so for this segment it's this much only we will meet in our next segment in the rest methods which are left related to animation or that we will see so see you in the next segment of our video thank you